Hi everybody, this is Dee, and I'm just coming on um, just as an off-the-cuff. It was just a very spur-of-the-moment thing uh, where I wanted to make this uh, video. It's an explanation to those, really, who, who um, might not have this um, understanding of the significance for the um, April 8th total solar eclipse. Um, I have been researching it uh, for biblical interpretation. And I, I hope that you find this interesting. Um, uh, a lot of Christians, they don't have, um, a, lot of, uh, Christ, a lot of Christians don't have under their belt Hebrew. And um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but once you do get a little taste of Hebrew, you, if you start to learn the Aleph, Bet, etc., um, it's really a game changer. It was a game changer for me. I don't speak um, Hebrew or anything like that, but I did at least learn the Aleph Bet. The Aleph Bet is what the Hebrews call our alphabet, and they do a, um, it's a wonderful uh, pictorial kind of, um, they give us a, a picture of, of the actual letter. For example, the Aleph in Hebrew is, sig sig it signifies Father God, as the leader or the or ox, um, and um, it looks like I guess in I guess the original Hebrew or Paleo Hebrew, it looked like a capital letter A sort of, and um, B would be Bet, which means the house, and Gimel Camel Aleph Bet Gimel um, Dalit D is the door, etc. So you start learning these things with the pictures and it's just a game changer. Anyways, I, that's for another video at some point. But um, uh, as I was saying, I was um, studying and I have been studying the, the biblical um, uh, ramifications that are going to happen for, from this April 8th eclipse. And I want to read to you this comment that I thought was just an outstanding comment from a, um, a believer, a follower of Yeshua who really has uh, this understanding. And when I read it, it just resonated. It just jumped off the page. It just resonated with my heart so much that I just wanted to share it with you guys, uh, family in the Lord. So I bow my head, I bow my heart as I do from Psalm 19, and I'm just saying, Lord, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So I don't know how to pronounce her name. Um, she was commenting on a, she was commenting on a video that I was watching about the April 8th eclipse uh, that's called The Living Word. And if, you know, I might just, uh, I might just put the, the link that you guys can see it for yourself, but she just kind of summed it all up. And I just thought it was really, really good. Um, um, so I wanted to read to you what she said. Her name is Ronnie. And, um, I hope she doesn't get upset that I'm using her name in this, but I want to give her the credit. It's not, it's not me that, that has this summary. Like she's just put it in perfect words. She's saying the April 8th uh, eclipse, and I'm just wearing this, I'm sorry, I'm wearing like a little thumb guard because I have arthritis in my thumb. So I hope that I'll, you know, uh, I hope I'll be fine in about a week or two. I've got some exercises that I need to do. But the April 8th eclipse will fulfill the Aleph, which is the beginning Hebrew letter of the Aleph Bet. And the Tav, it's the Hebrew and Tav of the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph, and sometimes it's spelled A-L-E-P-H. I've also seen it A-L-E-F. So Aleph, the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, is all three eclipses. And the Tav is the 2017 and 2024 eclipses. She has summed up to say, Yeshua is the Aleph, um, or spelled A-L-E-P-H, and the Tav. He's told us that he is the Aleph and the Tav. He's the first and the last. Um, the Tav is the last Hebrew letter of the Hebrew alphabet called Aleph Bet. And the warning to the United States is because this nation has rejected him. He is the Aleph Tav. In Greek, he's told us 
um, that it's actually alpha and omega. So that's what a lot of people might remember. That's what a lot of believers might remember, that he is the alpha and the omega. Those are the ones who are studying the Greek and not the Hebrew. And so this is just putting a different um, spin on um, the Hebrew now. So he will reject this nation when uh, they call upon him, unless there is a repentance like Nineveh. So, you know, you want to get out your, your Bibles and study the book of Jonah again, again, and you can understand that that there were 40 days that the Lord gave uh, these people to repent. I think it was somewhere in Assyria. Um, so from April 8th, uh, it's Pentecost. 40 days from April 8th is Pentecost when the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh, now that's the Hebrew word for Holy Spirit, uh, rained down in the second chapter of Acts. So those who reject, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, those who repent will be saved. That's what the Lord is counting on. And the more um, we as messengers and watchwomen and watchmen on the wall are making these videos, more are waking up. So I do hope and pray that more are waking up to the explanation and what they will do is that they will be saved. In the name of Jesus, amen. So those who repent will be saved. Those who will not will suffer the judgment. And it's going to be, I believe I heard uh, in the video, the living word, uh, I believe it was um, seven cities go across and up uh, from the west to the east. I think as far up as, I want to say Vermont. Maybe it's, maybe it's not, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's Vermont. Um, um, so she's not talking about current believers and followers. She's just saying um, those who repent now will be saved. Uh, those who don't repent will suffer the judgment. There's a lot of uh, fence sitters out there. There are a lot of atheists. There are a lot that are spiritually blind. So still, though, if we pray for them, if we pray for them, um, there's a good chance that they can get saved. So that's the purpose of this video, everybody, for more people to come to uh, Jesus Christ around this time. This is a very serious, very serious time. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I thought that this explanation was really, really good where I have a little bit under my belt uh, in the in the Hebrew Aleph Bet. So, uh, any questions, let me know. Have a great, blessed rest of your day, everybody. Amen.